G'day guys, how are we going? This is Dreaded Chef here. Um, thank you for tuning in and watching my clip on my channel. Uh, we are here at the beautiful Bramston Beach today for the Mesa Buccarini camp together. All this coronavirus stuff going on, it was really, really good to come together and get out and meet new people. Last night's meals that we cooked was an absolute amazing success with the cookies and cream being the most favorite dish of them all. But today, I'm putting Far North Queensland on a plate and we're doing a peri-peri smoked crocodile rib and that's going to be basted with a uh, loose leaf tea barbecue sauce. So I thought I'd show you guys how I'm going to prep these ribs and the ingredients that I'm using to go along with it to make it all happen. So the first thing we're going to do is put a little bit of oil on the ribs to act as a binder for the rub. I'll get into the rub in just a second about you know what it is and everything like that and how you can get this rub at home to do this yourself. So first of all, I'm going to just drizzle on a little bit of oil as a binder. Not too much, just enough to keep it wet. Set it aside and I'm just going to rub that in just so it's all nice and evenly coated like that. Now this rub here that I've got, this is the Peri Peri Spice Blend from Just Flavor. They're an amazing company and I really, really support them and they do fantastic things. Um, so they've come along today and helped me out with this rub for this dish because again, they are local and it's far North Queensland on a plate, which is the whole goal. So let's get into it and let's put this rub on. And so all I'm going to do is from a nice bite, just drizzle it on. And for those who haven't cooked crocodile before, the good general rule of thumb is to cook it like fish, but treat it like chicken. It's quite robust flavor. So, you know, having strong gold flavors that are in the peri-peri rub will adjust nicely, and especially combining with that smoke and the barbecue sauce. So get a nice even coat on there. Throw it on, enjoy it. It's going to be all flavor and just flavor, that's for sure. This company lives up to its name when it comes to, to their rubs and spice mixes, and I couldn't be more proud to use them in my cooking. Right, so one really big trick is that we pat the rub on. We don't rub. Despite it being its name of rub, we pat it on. As soon as we rub it on, we're actually kind of brushing it off, and that's just going against what we need to do. I'm just going to put a little bit on here, and I know I just said, you know, <laughs> pat, don't rub, but sometimes when you've got ribs and they're curved, it's really, really hard, so we do the best that we can. Cool, so patting it on, getting it all nice in there. I'm going to flip them over and do the other side as well. More oil. Just a little bit. A smelly bit. Spread that oil around, and then here we go. Yeah. Sprinkling it on. Now, if you've got a shaker, that works well, and it can help evenly distribute, but I, I like to be a little bit hand, heavy handed because some flavor's good, more flavor's better, and when you're going with just flavor, you can't go wrong. All right, again, patting, get this bit up here so we can get that. Kind of coat, coating all the sides of the meat. Don't want to leave any meat left behind. So, oh, brilliant. Cool. So what we've got now is I've got the dreadnought in the background, and that's preheated to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and we're going to whack these in for about two and a half hours, and every half hour we're going to do a spritz. So we'll get these in. And soon we'll have some tasty lunch. Alrighty, so here we are. We've got the dreadnought sitting at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got the crock ribs all rough, ready to rock and roll. So we're going to whack them in and we're going to wait for that smoke to go away. Back up a little bit. We'll place them on like so. And they're going to sit in there for about two and a half hours. And every 30 minutes, we're going to spritz. And I'll show, that, show you that later. Alrighty guys, here we are. It's been 30 minutes, the crock ribs have been smoking away in here. Um, in, in this bottle here that we're going to use to spritz these crock ribs with, I've got an orange and passion fruit juice and apple cider vinegar. The ratios are 50-50, so you can't get it wrong. So I'll lift the lid, let that smoke out, pull the shelter, make it easier on ourselves. 
and then all we do is just switch it on, always the pulse on. There we go. Get a nice even coating on there. This crocodile ribs aren't really, really fatty, so we need to keep the moisture up so they don't go too dry and that they stay So we'll do that every 30 minutes for about two and a half hours until they're done. See you then. About two hours now, the crocodile ribs have been smoking at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And every 30 minutes I've been spritzing with the orange and passion fruit juice and uh, apple cider vinegar mixture. That's about 50, 50 quantities if you didn't catch it earlier. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start basting it in this two fishes badass barbecue sauce that I've been making. And it is absolutely delightful. And it's all courtesy of the girls at Two Fishes Tea House. For their amazing teas, do yourself a favor, jump online, find their teas, and, and order it and drink it. It is absolutely epic. Um, so right now we're gonna jump into the smoker and we're going to get these crock ribs basted. Um, so here we are. And all we're gonna do is just get a nice coat going on. And it seems a bit thin, but it'll, it'll tack up and glaze nicely and it'll be absolutely epic, combining with that rub from Just Flavor. Look at that coat. Making sure that you get all of it. You don't want that flavor to be missed elsewhere. Cool. Alrighty, so we'll be doing that for 10 minutes, every 10 minutes for the next 30 minutes, and then right at the very end, so we 